بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما يا قوم الأكرمين My topic today is about abnormality of the secondary pulmonary lobule of buttons that involve the lung disease involving the secondary pulmonary lobule. As we discussed in the previous talk, this is the secondary pulmonary lobule, polyhydral in shape with central arteriole and central bronchiole with irregular in shape containing multiple acini and the veins are in the periphery, the lymphatic also in the periphery and the center. Abnormalities involving the secondary pulmonary lobule include increased reticulation, nodular pattern, high attenuation pattern, and low attenuation pattern. Here I will discuss in this mini talk about the reticular pattern involving the secondary pulmonary lobule. As we see here, this is the normal septa. This is the normal septa, and here you see there is some thickening of the normal septa. And you see here the thickening is smooth. And here we see some thickening of the interlobular septa of the secondary pulmonary lobule and the dot it is the central arteriole. Here this is another magnified view. You see this is the secondary pulmonary lobule with thickening of the interlobular septa and this is the dot it is the central lob arteriole and this is the lucent area it is central terminal bronchiole also another thickening of interlobular septa can be irregular and nodular in shape as seen in this sketch and here you see the interpulmonary lobule with some thickening and the interlobular septa with some nodularity. In this patient, there is association with multiple second with multiple nodules due to metastasis. This is another example. There is some thickening of the interlobular lobule, septal interlobular thickening of the interlobular septa with irregularity and some nodularity on the fissure and the bronchovascular bundle. What are the differential diagnoses of this interlobular septal thickening? If it is smooth and as in this case there is some thickening of the interlobular septa with central pulmonary arteriole in the center representing as a dot seen here seen and this is the thickening here if it is smooth the two main causes there is the first common cause is pulmonary edema and the second most common cause is lymphangitis carcinomatosus if it is nodular if it is nodular, as you see here, there is some thickening of the interlobular septa with some nodularity and irregularity and some central pulmonary lobule. And the differential diagnosis include sarcoidosis and lymphangitis carcinomatosa. Keep this in mind, and it is very important for causes to differentiate both conditions. Thank you very much and have a nice
Yeah.